Cross Agri Engineering produce a range of top quality beet washers, choppers and feeders to suit all requirements. Cross beet washers can handle the dirtiest of beet crops with ease. The cross range of beet washers includes this 20 ton per hour washer, chopper and feeder. This 30 ton per hour washer and chopper. And this 40 ton per hour destoner, washer and chopper. This 20 ton per hour washer, chopper and feeder is PTO driven and remains on the tractor. Two fill points can be provided to easily fill the machine from a tanker. Once full of water, the hopper at the rear of the machine is loaded with beet. The beet is thoroughly washed and cleaned. With the chopper in place, it is a simple job to feed your cattle. Removing the chopper unit will provide you with whole washed feet. After use, an onboard auger agitates and removes the sludge from the bottom of the machine. This 30 ton per hour washer and chopper is powered by hydraulic systems run off of the tractor's PTO drive. Tractors of 80 horsepower plus are suitable to drive this machine. It has the option of two filling points, making it easy to prepare for use. The dirty beet is loaded into the hopper. It is then taken into the washing cylinder where it is thoroughly cleaned. The beet exits the washing cylinder and travels via an elevator to the chopper unit. This machine provides a fast and efficient way to clean and chop beet. An onboard engine option is also available to remove the need to have a tractor coupled to the machine. After use, an onboard auger agitates and removes the sludge from the bottom of the machine. This 40 ton per hour destoner washer and chopper is top of the line in the cross engineering range of beet washers. Its hydraulic systems can be powered by the PTO drive of tractors rated 100 horsepower and over or by an optional onboard engine. The speed of the various hydraulic systems like the washing cylinder and the elevator can be varied independently. This machine is leveled and stabilized by six hydraulic legs. There are two fill points to provide ease of access when filling the machine with water. The hopper can be filled from three different sides, providing for convenient loading. The beet travels from the hopper to the destoner section. Here, any stones mixed in with the beet are separated and ejected from the machine resulting in huge savings on the cost of repairing the chopper unit or the diet feeder machine. The beet moves from the destoner to the washing cylinder. Here the beet is thoroughly cleaned before exiting via an elevator. The chopper at the top of the elevator provides chopped beet ready for use in a diet feeder.
Alternatively, with this machine, the chopper unit can be lifted to provide washed whole beet. We were chopping with a Keenan feeder and had a cleaner loader working into it and basically you used to take two men half a day to chop a load of beet between getting water and rigmarole and getting the whole thing done together but with this machine now it is just one man half an hour you have your beet chop for the day. A diet feeder and um, it was doing just show you 40 ton an hour chopping. Perfect, yeah. In fairness, it, it still leaves a bit to, to chew, like, you know, for the cattle to be playing. It didn't dice up completely, but it was just right, really. <laughs> Last year, we had a new Keenan uh, 200 feeder, and um, Basically, you'd always chop in the beat with a cleaner loader. You'd think all the stones are picked out, but there's always two or three that you just slips you. And basically, they'll get caught in the auger on the way out and bend the flight in the auger. We've done for an auger on our Keenan feeder. Cost, I don't know, was it nearly six, seven thousand euros to repair it after the year after the beat? So basically, we want this machine now to eliminate all that hardship. This year you might do 40 tonne with the water, but hopefully we're hoping now with the clean beat that you'll do double that at least. Mount I would think, um, you know, you wouldn't be able to deal with it fast enough. You wouldn't be able to chop it and get it pitted in time. Just in farmers wanting to get uh, chop beat supplied, they don't want the hassle of chopping it. They don't want the cost of trying to run a chopper themselves. So there's a lot of neighbouring farmers now are coming with their diet feeders and we're chopping in a couple of ton or whatever to do them for a week and they take it away. <laughs> Life is a lot easier with this thing, I can tell you.